morning everyone, happy Monday. Today is just a really chill day. I'm gonna try and catch up on emails. Um, I wasn't even gonna wear makeup today, but I feel like makeup sometimes just gets my day started. I don't know if that makes, it makes you feel the same way, but sometimes it just kicks me into work mode a little bit. I kind of feel like I look like one of the um, Adams family people at the moment, but I feel like the blue jeans kind of help cancel it out. If I was wearing black jeans, it'd be a little bit, a little bit too much. <laughs> Do you see the camera? Oh, good girl, Olive. You gonna give kisses? <laughs> Just home now, I'm about to make dinner. I bought a whole bunch of random things at the grocery store so I actually don't know what I'm gonna make. I think I'll just do like chicken and some sweet potato. Hopefully, yeah, sweet potato. Although I hate peeling the skin on sweet potato. It's such an effort. <laughs> but I do prefer the taste without the skin on high maintenance. Anyways, we're watching I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. If you're in the UK, are you watching it? Let me know, comment down below who you think is gonna win. I keep forgetting his name, is it Harry? Oh. The guy that was the ex-football manager, big fan. I think he's a sweetheart and I think he's gonna win. It is 7.45, eight o'clock in the morning. Look at this regrowth, <laughs> like what is that? Tonight I'm meeting up with Chloe from a local floral shop that I get all my bouquets from as you guys have seen in previous vlogs because we are going to be doing like a monthly subscription um, for a local business rather than something that's worldwide. So we're just getting together tonight to kind of go over what the next year is gonna look like um, with you know the bouquets, the price. We also wanna give um, a portion of it away to charity and it's really just to support local business which I'm a big fan of. For dry shampoo, um, I'm using up my Tarte Hair Goals dry shampoo. I love this one, but I do prefer my Briagio charcoal powder one instead. I just don't know where it is. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade mixed with this shade. And, oh, no, not that one. <laughs> this one, that one's a shimmery. That one and that one. And start filling in this area. Because it's just looking a little bit sparse. I've done this little trick before on my channel um, for little tips and tricks, like hacks, because naturally, as a blonde, it always is a little bit more sparse there, like I found at least growing up. So just taking a little bit of a eyeshadow and really buffing it into your skin kind of gives the illusion that you have like a really full hairline rather than this you have something a little bit more like this so oh my dry shampoo did not really blend that in i'll just leave that for now so after all that work putting my hair up i decided to take it down just because i wasn't really feeling it but it looks okay down actually because the ends are a little bit more curled Finished up my makeup, kept it really neutral and simple. I have been loving this. I used it yesterday as well. I put it like kind of all over on my cheeks, eyes, a little bit as a base on my lips. For liner though, I am using the Sculpted by Amy Connolly in Buff. Yeah, in Buff. And then Pure Zen MAC lipstick, like lightly tapped in the center just to nude it out a little bit. Gotta go get dressed and get all dressed. She said, oh, yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna do all I'm gonna be. It is literally a hurricane outside. It is so windy. I got a completely new hairstyle, plus a drainy. <laughs> Great combination. Anyways, my mango order finally came in. Felt like it was a little delayed thanks to Black Friday, so thought I would try on everything for you guys and show ya. The first item is this black and white stripe mock neck uh, sweater. It's knitted, really cute. It's a size medium. Next is a really soft, like mauve pink 
sweater. It's very lightweight, but it's extremely soft and it has embossed polka dots on it. I did get them all 30% off for the Black Friday sale, so they might be regular priced now. Also picked up these trousers, stretchy, which is a plus if you have bigger thighs, but they're super comfy. I love how it's like a thicker waistband right here. Obviously, I would style it with like nice heels because my legs are a little bit short. Next is this top, again, a rosy mauve color, super soft. It is stretchy, so I did size down to a small which I'm glad I did and then these trousers are super comfy there's actually a little bit of give and stretch in them this is a medium but I feel like you could maybe try them on in store and see if your size fits or possibly size down now I wouldn't put this together but I do want to show you the black blazer I got I'm so glad I picked it up I wanted a little bit more of a structured um, blazer and I didn't have a black one big fan of this blazer Next are these trousers. They're kind of like a pajama trouser. I feel like they're just a little bit loose and I don't know, I just don't feel like they're the nicest fit. So I probably am gonna return these. I also got them in another color. This is the other style of the same trouser. Again, just kind of ill-fitted, a little bit too big, so I should have got a medium, but I find they're like an awkward length. Maybe if I did get the medium, they'd be a bit shorter, which I think is cuter, but yeah, I'll be returning both of these trousers. Love these trousers. It's a UK 10 or US 6 if you were wondering. They are like a little bit of a looser fit so you could possibly size down. I don't think they'll stretch out and I feel like this is comfortable so I'll stay with this. And then lastly is this black denim skirt. It has like a little raw edge finish, a little bit of stretch in it. <laughs> but yeah, I also like it paired with this sweater as well. Do you wanna go for a walk with daddy? Do you need your bum bum change? Or that too. I am just headed out to meet uh, Chloe. I have 10 minutes to spare here, so I'm gonna quickly get changed into some footwear. <laughs> I don't know if my choice of words right there. Um, and then Patty's gonna meet me in town. What? Barefoot is so windy out, Patty. just barefoot. I literally only have like pointed sock boots down here, and I don't want to go all the way upstairs. <laughs> Oh no. You do not like sitting. <laughs> it's Wednesday, so you are off to Nana's house and I'm gonna film two videos and try and get as much done. I look like a hot mess right now. You excited to go to Nana's? Yeah? Can I have a kiss? Just back home now, I just dropped off Olive at Nana's house so that she can look after her while I film. I'm just about to film my Victoria's Secret hair and makeup tutorial, so I'll be going from this to this. A little bit more put together. I just finished filming my favorites of like the last couple of months because I haven't filmed a favorites video in forever. And I also finished filming this hair and makeup for the Victoria's Secret fashion show hair and makeup kind of recreation or whatever. And I feel like it turned out really good. It is awful out, like literally another hurricane. It's so windy, so rainy, so dark. So ugh. I actually have to get my nails done. I took off all the gel that was on it because my nails have just been like awful lately. So I'm gonna tell her just to file them down and put a clear coat on it because I feel like they need a little bit of fresh air and not any gel. And then I'm gonna pick up Olive and then hopefully she goes down for her second nap for me, hopefully. And then uh, I'll start editing so I can get these up for tomorrow, which is Thursday. Just home now and my MAC cosmetics delivery was just delivered, which is very exciting. Can you believe it? I have never owned a MAC foundation, like, Ever. I feel like everyone's had a uh, studio fix. So picked up NC20, NC25. I feel like this is more of an everyday color. And then if I have fake tan on, and because it was over Black Friday, I did get this all 20% off and a free gift. They gave me this lip liner in Fire Roasted, which is perfect for the holidays. And then a little sample of a mascara. And then I also picked up the Fix Plus in the coconut, not flavor, coconut smell. Scent, that's the word. And it smells duh. Vine. Good morning, everyone. You're on top of a perfume bottle balancing at the moment. I need to get out of the house with Olive. She's getting to the stage where like she gets bored really easily and then 
I get like flustered because she's bored and then I'm like going crazy so we just need to get out of the house but then she also gets tired by like 10 45 so I have like an hour and a half to figure out what to do and then she gets cranky and I have to come back and put her to bed so mom life <laughs> but we're gonna just head out and I'm gonna get a coffee I'll feed her breakfast out somewhere honestly that's what makes me stay sane as a mom I know that sounds so dramatic but any other fellow moms out there, I'm sure you can relate when you just feel like you need to get out of the house. You don't care where you go, what you do, you just need to get out. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today. And then this afternoon, I think we're going to head over to Sarah's um, with the twins and hang out for a little bit. Forgot to show you guys, but Away did send us another luggage. This is the second biggest size. Uh, they also sent us this color in the carry-on version. Look how smart that looks together. Like, I just want to travel all the time with both of these. You guys know that we're obsessed with these luggages. Like, Patty has never loved luggage so much because of all the great things that come with it. You can charge your phone up to five times, I believe. You can obviously lock it, all that fun stuff. I feel like these would be perfect Christmas gifts or if someone's getting married, another great gift. Keeping it very basic with my outfit. This is the mango sweater I got. I'm obsessed with it. These jeans are from Topshop, the high-waisted Jamie jeans with two little slits in the knees, and then my platform vans. Yeah. Made it to Bob and Bert's with my little friends. Yeah, yeah it's the Zoe and Olive show. Yep. Oh yeah, you tell them how it is. <laughs> What do you think, Olive? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you doing a poo? Just did a little grocery shop there in Sainsbury's. Had to get some things because we have literally nothing in the house. I look so frazzled. I look how I feel. I feel frazzled. I look frazzled. Olive is having a very off day. She's like nonstop, like gurning. Not necessarily crying, kind of crying. Just I'm really hoping it's a tooth because it would all make sense if a tooth pops up because obviously it's hurting her, but if it's not a tooth. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. We hung out with uh, Sarah and the twins for a bit and she was just upset the entire time. So I uh, just came here, got some food, and then we're gonna head home and I'm just gonna call it a night because I have no energy. and I'm just so like exhausted mentally, physically, everything. everyone we're back in the car we're about to head out here I'm gonna go get a spray tan at a new little um, it's called glow bar she's ready to go she's just you know just groany groany is that a word but her teeth are really bothering her she still sleeps really great at night so I think that's what's keeping all of us sane but throughout the day she's just really just seems like in pain so I've given her some Nurofen I give her teething toys carrots to chew on everything but She's still a little bit grumpy, so it is what it is. Got to get through this stage. Anyways, I'm going to this place called Glow Bar and I just opened. But first I have to go pick up Mist Mail. So I'm just here about to get sprayed. No, you look tan. This, so this. is there like a guide color or is it goes on clear? Yes, there is. We do a clear one as well, but there okay. is a guide color. So oh, I love see that. lovely and bronze throughout the day. Okay. And, the and how long does it take to dry? Oh, instantly. You oh. Can address immediately. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Just home now, Jill did a spray tan for me, which she did such a good job. She used to be the trainer for Vita Liberata, so she like is so, so professional at it. Um, yeah, Olive <laughs> was not happy the entire time. She was just cranky and crying, like her teeth must be really, really bothering her. And she's almost nine months and doesn't have a tooth yet, so I'm really hoping a tooth is going to come up soon. But I can't wear any makeup or put any like <laughs> clothes like tight fitting clothes on for 8 to 12 hours so if you're gonna get a spray tan just make sure you're having like a chill day or just get it before you go to bed. I'm having lunch right now. I picked up this from Sainsbury's. It's the ball Thai green coconut curry and it's like really healthy. It's like all green across you know like the little info thing. It's all green so I thought it was like a nice little 
lunch uh, pick me up because I haven't eaten anything yet today and it's almost one. Thankfully she went down for a nap because as much as I feel awful, I almost feel like I'm starting to lose my mind too. I'm holding her, I'm not holding her, I'm letting her, like, I don't know what's wrong and like there's no communication obviously so I just feel so helpful, helpless so whenever she can nap I feel like hopefully she's happy napping. <laughs> if you're in Northern Ireland, especially the North Coast, Glow Bar is so amazing because she does the spray tanning there but there's also a girl that does lashes, a girl that does HD brows, a girl that does hair, a girl that does makeup. Like it's an all-in-one stop and it's also like separate from the city center so then you don't feel like you have to like get dressed up to go in to get undressed to come back out. You know what I mean? Like it's just a little bit more secluded and it's a little bit more private which I love and I feel like there's nothing like that around here. Do you want to tell everyone that you're feeling better? For the past hour at least? It's because of the wiggles. I just got changed because we're gonna meet Jess and Jane uh, for some coffee. I'm gonna try and keep her up for a little bit because we're gonna meet Patty because we have to go do something quarter to five. Um, still no, wearing no makeup except for a little bit in my brows, mascara, and then I put on this YSL lipstick. It's like super pink, but I just blotted it so it wasn't so intense. Hair is still dirty in a bun. Wearing my favorite sweater at the moment, which is from Mango. Uh, old H&M jeans with a nasty gal belt that I'm obsessed with as well. All paired with some chunky white Nikes. Hopefully my tan doesn't come off into them. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Good girl! You gonna splash? Are you gonna splash? Afternoon everyone. This morning was a little bit of a blur if I'm being honest. Olive woke up around 6.30, which she normally wakes up quarter to eight. And she was just so out of sorts. Her temperature was really high. She had so much snot coming from her nose. She was coughing. She was like, like crying, but a different kind of crying. Just like a so, oh, it was so sad. And she just laid on me, like her head right here. And she was just like limp, just like, crying but like just like sobbing and like just so sad and so um we gave her a bottle and she started to feel a little bit better you want to say hi mm -hmm. <laughs> you can just like creep up in the background um but we had to head to belfast because i was going to just taking a nap thankfully we had to go to um an event it's uh for a brand called uh, lines and current she's a local girl and she designs jewelry and it, it's so cute and just like really minimal i think the hashtag is minimal but with meaning so um i'll link all of her stuff down below i picked up this ring it's gold plated oh gold plated um sterling silver and then it has like a little black onyx in it in the top right there if you can see and then she also gifted us something of our choice and I picked a really pretty gold um, delicate chain it's like two chains together so I thought that was really nice yeah so we were there most of the morning it was really great to catch up with some friends and then we had a first birthday to go to down the road so it honestly worked out perfectly although Olive was just she's not herself she hasn't been all week so it was like a quick 20 minute thing and then we were back in the car and she was like on and off moaning the entire ride back so we were just back there like 20 minutes ago gave her lunch gave her a bottle changed her and she is out for the count so she's just a sick little puppy and um, hopefully she naps long because i feel like i need to take a nap i'm a little exhausted um because tonight we're going to a charity event dinner and it's a black tie event. So I picked up some things from ASOS on Thursday because we only found out on Thursday that we were going. <laughs> so the black skirt came in time and Patty was right. I actually prefer this way more. This is the top. It's a jumpsuit so it connects underneath. But I just thought it was so pretty and I feel like it was only like 12 pounds or something off ASOS. So this is the final look. Obviously not with socks. <laughs> I'll have to put, uh, I don't know what kind of shoes with it. Don't mind all that, it's a complete mess in my room, but yeah, I'm happy that I went with the black satin rather than the navy sequin. It's like a little bit off black colors, but you wouldn't be able to tell. Patty's just over at his mom's with olives, so I can have some time to get ready here. I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer, just because I feel like 
it comes off lightly throughout the day. I'm just gonna put it in areas that look like it needs a little bit more help. For some reason, I've been like breaking out on my jawline, like just below my jawline, so you can't see it, but like right, like right there, see? What? <laughs> That's such an awful face. But what is that? So weird, that's like only where I break out now. And like I finished my, you know what, like two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, so I feel like it shouldn't be like that, but it is. I'm gonna add some of my Fix Plus, the coconut one, on a beauty blender to just blend out that concealer. To set that all in place, I'm gonna use my favorite powder, which is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, I believe. It's a really, really, really fine powder and I'm just gonna put it in those exact areas I put my concealer. I don't know if, I'm sure I've shown you this before. This is what I use to get ready. It has my name on it, which is really cool, but it's such a massive mirror. It has the blue tone and the warm tone, so it's really great for getting ready when it's pitch black out. Taking my Marc Jacobs bronzer, and I'm just going to contour and bronze my skin up to match my neck and the rest of my body. Blush, I'm taking this Max Factor one in 15, Seductive Pink. It's a really pretty, uh, just like a mid-tone pink color. And I'm really gonna concentrate that on the apples of my cheek, blending upwards. I'm gonna go a little bit heavy with this, so don't comment that I put too much blush because it always comes off first. I don't know why blush does that, but I always find blush is the first one to fade throughout the night. So maybe it doesn't even look that intense in the camera because <laughs> the light's kind of canceling it out, but. Oh, it's on my face. Okay, this is a palette I'm gonna use, the Bobbi Brown Smoky Crystal. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this cliche just to create a little bit of a base before we put on a more dramatic color. Further deepen, I'm gonna take that dark shade in the palette. It's the darkest non-glittery shade. Now I'm keeping this one only on my lid, blending in circles to the outer corner. I'm not gonna go my entire lid, like more of a half kind of eye. We're just gonna get darker and darker closer to the lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with that light shade that's also a matte color. I'm gonna press that in the inner corner before we go in with a glittery shade. And this is just gonna really brighten up the inner area of our eyes. Now for a fun pop of glittery shimmer, I think I'm gonna take this shade here. I'm just gonna press it over the dark areas that we've just done. It has a really pretty reflex to it. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, again with a Fix Plus, and go into the lightest shimmery color. Ooh, this is pretty. I think I'm just gonna keep this in the inner corner because it is quite a shimmery um, shadow and it kind of looks cool, like a little starburst right there. Okay, pretty. I'm gonna go to eyebrows quickly because I feel like I need a little bit more of a structured brow with this eyeshadow look. Now taking my favorite eyeliner. This is the Sephora Collection Waterproof Color Eyeliner. We're gonna do a winged liner and I'm really, really gonna try to just keep it at the outer corner and not bring it on top of my eyes, so wish me luck. All right, a little bit thicker than I wanted, but we're gonna roll. I only have a couple like individuals left on my eyes, so oh. I'm a little hesitant. I don't know if I should wear these. Okay, I'm gonna do it. They are the House of Lashes Heartbreaker. Okay, lashes are on. It looks really intense on the top, I feel like, but ugh, I just don't love wearing stuff on my bottom lash line. Anyone else like that? Like, so you know what I might do? The lip liner I'm wearing has a brown undertone, so let's see what this looks like. I might regret this. That's okay, I think that works. This is the Kevin Aquan coin the flesh tone lip pencil in medium so i'm gonna use this on my lips as well oh my lips have <laughs> on my lips as well and then sand wash pink by bobby brown feeling like i should bake under my cheeks just to you know i'm gonna tone this down so you guys can really see it's a lot of yellow too Oof. hopefully you guys can like get the idea i'm going for like a little bit of a sophia loren like heavy top eye cat eye kind of vibe. I'm gonna bake underneath my cheekbone. All right, pretty good. This looks really weird, but I'm going to keep it like that while I do my hair. Cool, 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 cool. So I have like no bobby pins. <laughs> Great. We're gonna have to improvise here. So I'm gonna tease the crown area of my head. I'm gonna leave a piece out, maybe a bit bigger. Is that too much? I think it's okay. I tend to like whisper talk whenever I'm like really concentrating, so sorry if that's really annoying. 
just realized it probably is. I'm gonna take an elastic and just tie my ponytail in place. Take this curling wand, the T3 one. Curl almost like I'm going away from the section I want it to lay in. I'm gonna over curl it because I know it's gonna drop anyways. So that's a very dramatic curl at the moment. Like that's really dramatic, <laughs> it really needs to gel. I also feel like I need to tease this section too. So I'm gonna just go through and tease this bad boy. This is a hairstyle that kind of all depends on like what you want this part to look like. I don't want it to be like super big, but I also don't want it to look flat compared to this very outrageous curl. I'm also gonna spray a lot in that. I'm a little tempted to like keep this as a ponytail, but then I feel like a bun would just, you know, oomph it. So we're gonna do a bun. I'm gonna back comb it. So we got volume to work with. I'm gonna split it into two. Maybe I'll turn for you guys. Wrap it around one another and start rolling it into a bun. Is that okay? Do you see it on both sides? Yeah. It's gonna do. This is not my top. I just put my t-shirt down so that I could highlight my uh, collarbones and shoulders so that it looked all finished, the finished effect. Um, I just used the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I basically finished it so that I could get a little bit of glue. Yeah, this is the final look. Um, I'll insert some photos of the full finished look here uh, because my battery light is flashing. What would a vlog be without <laughs> dying halfway through? And I'm not gonna bring my camera to the event. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and I will catch up with you guys Monday. See ya, bye.